Hi, it's Fiends Genesis. I'm in a backup of my Netherlands Survival World uh, Plus in Bedrock playing on PlayStation 4 Pro. And I wanted to show you, we have now a new update to the wild. Um, which allows us to locate biomes with command blocks, but you, or I guess in create, if you're in creative, you could do it with just the uh, chat and locate the, uh, the biome that way. But um, one of the, the good things that people want, and you locate structures as well, one of the good things people want is to locate a meadow so they can get the music disc uh, achievement, which I still haven't done and I'll probably do in um, my next video. But I wanted to show you a, a recent video coming up, but I wanted to show you one of the problems with it because um, the game is mathematical. You've got a mathematical seed, you've got a mathematical layout of the game. And if you went and explored an area and locked in those chunks of the world into that biome and then a new update comes out and we got new biomes and biomes that don't exist anymore and everything gets changed around the game is still going to it's going to recognize when you locate say the meadow it's going to locate it as if you had just started up the game fresh with the new update and and of course, we're all trying to go slowly with our world and open it up and wait for new features. So um, just be aware of that because you'll go and you're like, I'm in the meadow. It looks like a meadow. How come nothing's working? I'm not getting the uh, j uh, jukebox uh, music achievement playing it in the meadow. So here's a perfect example. I'm right at the corner of my world. So that big road over there behind the Viking ship, that is the um, bedrock on the other far side of it. Everything in here is the uh, PS4 version. So right here, it's telling me, and we're going to call this Meadow Zero. So we're going to locate the meadow, and it's going to tell me now um, that the meadow is 45 blocks away, right over there. So I kind of made that makeshift meadow after uh, the fact. So now we're going to go over here, um, and the command for this is slash locate space biome b-i-o-m-e space meadow and hopefully you can spell meadow it's right up here um and then here i call this meadow zero like patient zero with the zombies because there really is no meadow <laughs> this is the uh the uh the form meadow so here it is and um i guess i'm gonna try with my friend zach to see if um actually get an achievement if it says because it says the meadows there you'll get i know when i was looking um the it was one where you had to go to an underground ruin but there was no underground ruin there but i guess it was supposed to be in the new bedrock version and it gave me the achievement so um it may be the same i'm very curious so anyway um this is it uh there's a cd here to try it out i set everything up i put a bunch of flowers here to simulate meadow yeah so you can see there was no meadow here so now we're going to go to um gumdrop road uh one of the places i built my thousand days if you have a chance um you know check out my thousand day uh mini tour of the recent project I did over 300 real hours in Minecraft building. Sorry, it's going to take a while to load because I'm teleporting pretty far away. But yeah, if you if I have a survival world with um, commands, um, the teleport's good, especially when you're trying to, um, or you make a copy of it with the, and you use command blocks, so you can then teleport, um, you know, and show different things you want to show quickly so your videos aren't too long, because we all have other things to do in life too. Hi, kitty, gumdrop, gum, I found gumdrop. Before I go to the meadow, I want to show you, this is so cool. So this village, I was tunneling through here because I want a nice big world um, and all the new features. And I was like, I saw the village up in kind of this uh, big mountainous region. We have cliffs and caves now. And I was like, how am I going to get up there? I don't want to like dig a road into the pretty mountain. And I guess the villagers had the uh, same, <laughs> same problem. So they started there and they went upwards. Oh, I see a piece of bamboo floating. Yeah, I can't reach it. Oh, well. Um, so yeah, it's a very cool village. And then, you know, I need to light it up and I just love these uh, nether trees. So here we are. We're going to now locate the meadow and it's going to say the nearest uh, meadow is 45 blocks away. So now we're going to go to, I call it Meadow 1. So this is the meadow it told me was here. And um, so what a real meadow is, it looks like is it's it's the lowest depression of kind of the green grassy. It looks like a plains. It's still part of the mountain, but it's kind of kind of in the, the bowl, bowl part of it. Not down here because this is plains, but kind of just the lower part of the mountain where the where the uh, wildflowers bloom. So that's what's considered meadow. And I have a you know, CD here ready to go. So now we're going to go to um, Meadow 2. Now how I got Meadow 2, which is we're going to 
see it's way over there. I marked it. See it kind of over there. And if you want to see what the village, where the village is in relation to the village. So I could have walked up here, but I'm just trying to, you know, show you how everything links up. So here's the village right here. So, um, so it's all, all of this is meadow, but it just kind of picks this kind of location that says, okay, this is kind of the, I don't know how it picks that exact spot, but anyway, we're going to go over here to meadow two. How I ended up getting meadow two was when I was at the corner of my world at the Mesa, which I knew was right at the two corners of the bedrock, which is, uh, which should be, um, negative, um, like 2545 by 2545, I think, um, and that's where my yeah that's the top right um that's the mesa so that told me that's where that is and it told me this was the closest one which is weird because you know that's kind of closer but whatever um so here it is x marks the spot and um it's great use for that block by the way so now here it is here's the jukebox now we're going to um and and this one wasn't the one it designated but i guess i'm going to put it in or I'll, you know, put it in and see if I get the, um, I don't have music turned on, so I don't know if it's going to pop the achievement, but we'll go stick it in here anyway. Yeah, it's playing it. Big step. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just got the tro trophy and sound of music. Awesome. 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 Okay. Awesome. Good. Yeah. Cool beans, man. Okay. So even though that wasn't the one, it was the other place told me it was. And yes, I got this. So definitely if you go to something that looks like this, you're definitely going to get the uh, trophy. So now um, we're going to go over here and we're going to locate again. Um, meadow three, we're still locate. This is locate. So we're going to locate and it says now the nearest meadow, instead of taking me back there is saying it's 135 uh, blocks away up here. And I have it marked. If you can see kind of the center of my screen with a cross hairs are so now we're going to go here and um and boom here's the uh, third meadow so yeah you should get an achievement right here too so and this is just on the other side of this so it's really weird because if you look at here there's the village right there if you can see it right in the center of my screen and i mean it's the same as over there it's just this you know kind of the side of the cliff with all the pretty flowers um so anyway, three different kinds of places. So anytime you go and the flowers start under the snowy big cliffs, that's your um, that's your uh, area. So now we're going to go back to Gumdrop Road. Hi, Gumdrop. And, you know, I like to have a place where I can teleport home. Actually, I want to show you. I don't need to teleport home. I just want to show you the village is so cool. <laughs> and it's so, so we go up here and... Um, yeah, a little fishing hut down here, which is actually good because, yeah, barrels you want to keep separate so um, and you don't turn all your other other villagers into fishermen, you know. Um, and then we go here. I think that the way to get up, I haven't really gone up and started trading with these guys yet. Did I put a ladder or something up here? I think I can go up this way. Yeah, there I did put a ladder up there. Yeah, that's good. Ah. Come on. Ah. Perfect. Like I said, this is a copy, so I don't, I don't care. Yeah, probably over in that one meadow, I'm probably gonna build myself a house because I just love the view. I don't want to be too close to the village to trigger any raids or anything or zombie attacks. So I'll probably be f just far enough away, but close enough. I mean, in the <laughs> epic build spot. I mean, oh, I love cliffs and caves. Uh, I love the old terrain, but I mean, this is just like. I mean, soak this in, <laughs> and this is some pretty epic, uh, you know, kudos for uh, Mojang. They've really um, taken this game to the next notch compared to where I started. This is over seven and a half years ago. It's like just wow, or even older than that when I played on um, Pocket Edition. Just wow. So anyway, that's it. Um, and get out, get in your meadow, and get your achievement. Um, anyway, Fiends Genesis, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.